Hi everyone, my name is Jane Tipiachin and I am going to be showing you a super quick and easy makeup look for the Lupus Warrior on the go. Um, I have actually had lupus for 16 years myself and I facilitate a lupus support group in Alameda in the Bay Area. Um, currently, we are taking a little break and we do virtual from time to time, but we are looking forward to when we can open back up and see everyone back in person. This is my beautiful model, Sandra. Hi, I'm Sandra Espinosa. I uh, facilitate the group here in, in San Jose, the, uh, the hangout here at the Elephant Sea. And I'm just going to learn along with uh, Jane here how to use makeup and have a, a look on the go. Sounds good. Okay, let's get started, guys. So um, we are going to start with something super, super important for everyone, but especially us lupus warriors. So this is um, a botanical sunscreen. This one has an SPF of 50. So it's really important to have as much SPF as possible um, because we know that we're super sensitive to the sun nowadays. So I try to have it in my moisturizer. I try to have it in my foundation, my powder, whatever I can get it in. Um, super essential, you guys. So let's go ahead and start with that. And I am going to use this flat brush here and just squeeze a little bit on. And then we're just going to go ahead and just cover the whole surface of the face. Now with this tinted moisturizer in particular, this one has a tint already to it. So this might be also nice because on those days where we really don't wanna do much, we want a little something, um, we want to have a little bit of coverage, but not too much. This is the perfect product for that. So let's just cover the entire face real light. And then as you guys can see, um, we're already getting a very, very light, simple coverage going with this. And we're just doing a very, very light, light coverage. How does that feel, Sandra? Does it feel real light? Mm -hmm. Okay, so now that we have that on, we're going to go ahead and move to the next step. And um, this product was this here. It's botanical sunscreen. And um, we purchased everything from Ulta, just in case you guys are interested, um, SPF 50. So now we're going to go ahead and move on to the Dream Urban Cover from Maybelline. And this one also has a full spectrum, or I'm sorry, a broad spectrum SPF 50. So go ahead and open this. And um, you can use a flat brush, you can use a powder brush like this, or um, you know, a fluffy brush, whatever brush you feel most comfortable with. Um, I prefer synthetic brushes because synthetic brushes tend to um, be easier to work with. And also um, with this, you can blend it easier. And the synthetic brushes um, don't tend to shed as much or harbor bacteria the way that animal hairs would. So I'm just going and covering it real nicely. So just adding a little bit more product than I did with the sunscreen that I put there. So you can get a little bit more coverage. And this foundation already has a nice coverage to it. So you can see it's just covering the very light um, rosiness on Sandra's skin. She has super nice smooth skin. So I have a very, very perfect palette to work with you guys. What is your normal makeup routine that you do, Sandra? Usually I just put sunscreen and that's it. But when I do go out, I use just the powder mm -hmm. and not really foundation. Oh. Mm -hmm. And um, you guys, I'm just going ahead and as you can see, I'm just applying it directly on the brush. Some people like to put it on their hands and then scoop it up. Some people like to put it on a little, like a little um, sheet or something. But I personally like to just put it right on the brush. You're not losing any product that way. And it's right on there and you don't have to make any mess. Usually I just do like my eyes. Okay. But even with that, um, sometimes I struggle with the eyeliner. Mm -hmm. One's always thicker than the other. Oh, that's or always the problem. <laughs> My hand is shaking. Can't yeah. Right. So only when I really go out, you know, not on a regular basis. Right. So um, with this, I'm also taking the foundation into her neck, as you can see. So this way, 
um, we're um, having it all blend in real, real nicely. You never want to have a line of demarcation between your face and your neck. So you always want to kind of bring it down and blend everything in. So um, when you're doing your face, when you're doing your makeup, the one thing to remember is to always blend on up. So you want to make sure everything's nice and blended. If you kind of see like, oh, this is a little streaky here, or this is not blended, just go ahead and go in with your brush and just blend away. How does this foundation feel? Okay. And, um, you know, she didn't need a whole lot of coverage, so we barely had to use, like, I think two little pumps, you guys. So, um, again, um, this product was the Dream Urban Cover from Maybelline, and it has a broad spectrum of SPF 50. So there's that. And then um, we're going to go in with a little bit of concealer. And this one is the Instant Age Rewind. And this one, um, you can apply it directly. Oh, you know what? We forgot to introduce, introduce the guest of honor. <laughs> He's so quiet. He's being such a good boy, but I totally forgot he was here. Sultan, meet everyone. Can you guys see him? Yeah. yeah. He's real chilled out right now, you guys. So, but he usually likes to be the star of the show. So he's saying hi to everyone. He's my emotional support doggy and my baby, my fur baby. Sandra also has a fur baby. <laughs> so we are going to go ahead and use. So I'm going to switch over to this brush. It's kind of like a synthetic fluffy brush. Um, I'm going to use this for the concealer so this way we can test it in real nice. Um, this one's also from Maybelline, you guys. So this is brand new. Just FYI, thank you so much to Lucas Foundation of Northern California for donating all this makeup to Sandra's new makeup kit. Thanks. That's our prize for um, Lucas Awareness Month <laughs> and for being an awesome Lucas lawyer. Okay, so when you guys first get this, you're gonna have to keep rewinding for a little bit, but now we have the product out. So with this, you can either choose to apply it directly with the sponge here. Um, I like to use a brush um, just so it's blended more. So go ahead and look up, and then we're just gonna go ahead. So we're just gonna go ahead and apply some underneath the eyes. And um, this product actually has some anti-aging as well. So, you know, we can always use a little bit more glow and a little bit of brightening and anti-aging underneath the eyes. So I think this is a really great product for that at a really great price. So I like to hit this um, inner corner here and underneath all the way out here and then in this little inner corner here. So that helps to even out and brighten it up. So I just did a very, very light amount so you guys can see the difference. It's just a little bit more brighter and a little bit more even underneath the eye. And we're gonna take a little bit more and then go underneath the other eye. Again, we're gonna hit this inner corner right here, go underneath the eyes, and this inner corner here, and just blend, blend, blend. When you don't know what to do and you get stuck, just blend, <laughs> just keep blending. Okay, and then sometimes what I like to do on myself is I like to take a little bit and I go like right here because I know most people, including myself, I tend to get a little bit of like redness around the nose right here. So I like to go a little bit underneath here in this inner corner. And then you can just go wherever you want a little bit more coverage. Your skin looks really good. Doesn't your skin look good? So glowy. Yeah, it's a really good color for you. Mm -hmm. Yay. Okay. So next, what we are going to do is one of the most important things, you guys, for us Lupus Warriors, especially those of us who are on prednisone. I was on prednisone for 14 years of my 16-year diagnosis. Luckily, I have been able to get off for a couple years, but unfortunately, I might have to get back on, but I'm trying to fight that as much as I can. Um, are you on prednisone right now? Uh, uh, five milligrams. Just five milligrams. Okay, so she's on a pretty small milligram, but I know when I was on, I think it was on like 50 or 60, maybe even more than that. Um, I had, you know, the really round moon face and, um, you know, I wanted to do everything I could to just kind of contour a little bit. So um, I'm going to show you guys this bronzer. 
And then this is like the medium tone, it's from Makeup Revolution. I'm just getting a little on my angle brush here and um, just a little bit of product to start a little bit at a time because you never want to do too much at once. Tap off the product here. And then I'm going to start right over here on her cheekbone. So we're going to hit this, boom, boom. And then we're going to do a three. One, two, three, just like that. So you can see this is just with one light cover here. So this way, what we're doing, I'm going to do a little bit more. So again, you want to start here on the cheekbone and then here and really blend, blend, blend. And then here, here. So you're going to kind of hit all like the contours of the face right here. And um, a little trick, what I like to do, and I still do it to this day, I really, really go in on this jawline right here because I feel like that's kind of the part that kind of, you know, um, we lose our shape with a little bit. So this way it's really, really contouring and you're creating that, that really chiseled um, effect with your skin and it will like nicely contour. So this way, since we can't go out in the sun a lot, you know, we barely hit the sun and when we do hit the sun, we feel pretty sick. Um, this is like sun in a, in a jar, well, not a jar, in a case, whatever it is. <laughs> so again, we're gonna do the other side. We're going to start right here, that, and then go here, and here, and we're just going to keep blending it out. And the fun thing about bronzer is if you're like, just want to do a really quick look on the go. You can do a bronzer on your cheeks and then you can even put some on your eyes too. Like, mm -hmm. as a nice like wash of one. And then if you can't find your cheek line, if you go like this, see here, it like pops out more. So if you're kind of like, oh, I don't know exactly where to put it. You just want to put it right here, like underneath the apples of your cheek. And then hit that jawline. You're going to get a little bit more product with that jawline. Ta da! Look how snatched your face looks. And then let's see, we're going to move on now to, I like to do the powder look a little bit later. We're going to do the blush now. So this is one of Sandra's blushes from MAC. And it's kind of like a nice rosy peachy neutral color. So um, if you smile, um, so if you the camera, so you see how she's smiling right here is like the apples of her cheek. This is where we want to go. We want to do kind of like a circular, circular motion just like this and kind of bring it upwards. See, just like that. That's real pretty. It's like a nice wash of color. Blush always helps to brighten up the skin. Well, bronzer helps to warm the skin, then the blush helps to kind of like bring some more light to it. Okay, so take a look. So that looks really pretty on me. And then we are going to move to the powder. Now, sometimes people like to do powder after the concealer. I like to do it um, after this so I can kind of chisel out um, the bronzer a little bit better. So I'm going to use the powder brush now. And then I am going to dip a little bit here. And this is a mineral powder. It also has SPF um, and it's from Smashbox. So this is a loose powder. So when you're working with loose powder, you just want to grab a little bit, dust it off here. And then um, I believe you said you get a little bit of T-zone oiliness, right, Sandra? So um, depending on the um, type of skin you have, Sandra has um, kind of a combination skin, right? You get oily T-zone and then a little bit of dry. Yes, not much dry. Not much dry, but a little bit, yeah. So um, this way we're just hitting the T-zone where she said she gets a little oily. So if, and, you know, if it starts to shine, then we can prevent that. And then I'm gonna just take a little bit and um, um, this way you can blend in the bronzer and the contour very nicely into the skin so it looks more natural. And of course, go underneath the eyes. Um, and I have to set your concealer a little bit too. The chain. And then we're just getting a little bit more for the other side. And I'm, you know, you guys, I'm barely doing any powder. So I'm going for like a really light lip. So if you need more coverage, just use more product. There's also color correctors. If you have a lot of um, 
you know, the butterfly rash and a lot of rosacea in your skin, you can use um, either a green or a yellow um, primer and it'll help to kind of tone down the redness in your skin. And it doesn't have all that much redness, so we don't need to do that stuff. So a little bit more for the chin. And again, I'm going to hit down here, a little bit on the decollete. Okay, and then we're going to move on to one of my favorite parts, the highlighter. She has a fancy marker, so you guys you can get it at Sephora. <laughs> so I'm going to take, um, I'm going to use a powder brush. And I'm going to dip in this highlighter right here. Oops, I keep going the wrong way. Just dip in a little bit right here, pat off with excess. And then here for the highlighter, you're going to hit just right here um, above the cheekbone. So you're going to go here, kind of where the sun would naturally hit your skin. And you're going to go here, here, and I kind of bring it up here a little bit and down the nose a little bit. And this is like a really, really pretty. I'm not going to forget this. It's really pretty. <laughs> I love how like it's like my favorite. That one looks gifted to me. Oh, I don't even know. That looks so good on you. <laughs> it's so pretty. Sorry, I get really excited um, with makeup. My boyfriend can testify to that. <laughs> so I'm going to just off a little bit, hit that other side, go right over the cheekbones here, and then bring it a little over the brow. And then you can even hit some underneath um, the eyebrows a little bit later on when you start to work on her eyes. A little bit on the nose here, and you can do a little bit on the cupid's bow, this area right here. So you guys can take a look at that. So her complexion is done now, you guys. So we're going to go ahead and move on to the eyes now. So kind of sneaky. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to move on to the eyes. Let me just sanitize my hands again really fast. How does your skin feel so far? Mm -hmm. It looks really good. Looks good. Doesn't feel like I have anything on. Mm -hmm. It looks really nice. I'm glad. Yay, everything works out. So um, we're going to be using the Urban K Eyeshadow Primer Potion. This one is actually going to give you a super long layer of your eyeshadow. And um, how we get those natural oils on our eyelid and the creasing, this is actually going to prevent the creasing. Um, this one is in the color Sin, so it has a little bit of a champagne tone. Um, so when you apply it, you can even wear it alone for just like a cute color, and you can do a little wash of the bronzer if you want a super, super fast look. Um, but in this case, we're going to be doing eyeshadow treatment. So it's going to make your eyeshadow go longer and then also crease proof and increase the pigmentation so you don't have to use as much eyeshadow. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to put that one because I like the color. Yeah, the color is super pretty. Mm -hmm. I usually just like or something that looks cool. Yeah, I like it quite a bit. So that's eyeshadow for that one. I actually worked for Urban K for um, eight years before I went on disability. So you can see now it just has a nice um, champagne wash over her eyes. And then we're going to go ahead and move on to eyes, guys. So I'm going to start off. We have this palette here. It's called Talking Flirty from Morphe. Again, we got this from Ulta, and it was kind of fun for Lupus Awareness Month because it has nice purpley tones in it too. So I'm going to use this shade right here. I always <laughs> I keep going the wrong way. So I, I like to use this lighter tone to start out with underneath the brow and in the inner corner of the eyes just to brighten everything up really nicely. Again, um, you want to grab some product. You want to tap it off onto some tissue paper or something. And then go so underneath the brow. Let's see. It's going to be a little bit more this way. So we're going to go ahead and hit underneath the brows like that. And keep blending, blending, blending. And then we're going to also bring it in this inner corner here. In this inner corner here. So this way, like that little area really helps to bind up the eyes, I feel like. So we're going to do that. And then that highlights the brow really nicely. And then let's get some more product, tap some off, using the same color on the other side. And then just hit underneath the brow. And then in this inner corner.
Okay, so we have that base color, and then we're going to go ahead and uh, move on to the crease color. So um, as far as the crease color goes, I like to use um, a matte shade, usually because it helps to kind of create more definition and um, contour the crease of your eyes. So I like to use, um, you know, it depends what kind of look you're going for. Um, right now we're going kind of for like a quick natural look. So I'm going to go ahead and use this brown tone right here. So this way, right here, grab some product, go ahead and take it off like that. And then um, if you can see here, this is the area that we're going for, the crease right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and apply some hair and then kind of take it back and forth like a windshield wiping motion. Use your crease, you can bring it up inside here and then kind of move it back and forth like a windshield wiper, just like that. And then kind of take it into a V shape almost and then blend it really nice and good. You have the perfect face to work on, like you make everything so easy. So you guys can see that. So it just kind of um, creates more contour and then so a little bit more of this light brownie, wispy shade. And then into the corner, into the crease. And then back and forth. And you know, usually you can kind of speed through this a little bit more, but I'm trying to take my time and explain everything to you guys. So it won't take this long when you're doing it on yourself. Unless you want it to, unless you have the time to. And then take it into that new shade here. Okay, so we have that color now. And then we are gonna go ahead and do the lid color. Um, so I think for lupus awareness, you wanna try like a purpley color. Um, you know, you should always, depending on the look again that you're trying to do, you can play with any color really in here that's a little bit lighter, or if you want a smoky eye, you can do a darker color, kind of like what I have on. Um, I think uh, just for the sake of lupus awareness, I'm gonna go ahead and choose this shade here, which is kind of like, a metallic purpley shimmer color. I think it'll be really pretty on Santa. Grab a little bit, and I'm using kind of like this flat brush right here. Mm -hmm. um, tap brush it, like this, like that. And then we're just going to go ahead and apply it all over your lid, just like a wash of color. And actually, um, I really like purple on um, brown eyes. It kind of makes it pop a little bit more. I find that purples and, um, and blues do that really nicely. And sometimes if you want to, you know, venture into color a little bit, but you're a little nervous and, you know, you don't play with makeup that much or color, um, you can do like a neutral on the crease, like what I did on Sandra, and you can do a little um, pop of color just on the lid. And then that makes it so you can wear color, but it's, you know, a little bit more toned down, a little bit more subdued. There you go. That's really pretty. It's um it's like it's like purple lavendery, but it's still you know subtle enough that it's not too bright. And if you need to grab a little bit more color, you can. I always like to grab a little bit of color at first and then just build up when I need to. Um, what do you do usually on your eye center? Um, just eye shadow and you know, neutral colors. Okay. And um, eyeliner, mascara. That looks really pretty on me. Mm -hmm. um, and then um, what we can do also, I'm just going to, just for fun, I'm just going to add a little bit of a deeper shade. Um, just at the ends, I think I'm going to do just a little bit of this brown right here. It's kind of like a, a warmer brown shade right here. I'm just going to take that and just go a little bit in the corner, just create a little bit more definition. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. And then I am just going to take um, the lighter color right here one more time. And I'm just going to create a little bit more of the highlight. So you can maybe make the brows pop. The windows can also be used kind of just like, you know, make sure everything's blended really nice. Okay, so that's the eyeshadow look that we're gonna do today. It's just very like natural, but we're having nice lots of colors and a little bit of warmth in the crease. And um, we're actually going to now do um, a little bit of eyeliner. Now, um, there's lots of forms of eyeliner you can do. You can do liquid eyeliner, which is what I like to do. Um, you can do pencil liners, but if you, you have that one. So we are going to also kind of explore it just using the palette for eyeliner because that's another thing you can do. But Sandra also has an eyeliner here. Um, but maybe what you can do is we can apply the, um, the eyeshadow liner on the bottom and then we can do her pencil liner on top for a little bit more of a smoky effect. So I'm going to go ahead and go ahead first. I'm just going to start right here on the lash line. I'm more comfortable with starting in the middle and working my way out and going back a little bit. And if it's not a perfect line, that's totally okay. You guys can always fix it afterwards, so don't worry. And then just go ahead and go on that last line. Just do, um, and you know, it depends what kind of look you're trying to go for. If you want to just do like, we're just doing a natural look today. So I'm just going to go ahead and, um, you know, lightly line the lash line and I'm going to blend it out afterwards. And then if you want, you can do thicker lines, you can ring your eyeliner. There's lots of like different ways to apply eyeliner um, to how you would like it to be. And then I'm gonna go ahead and also take um, this brush here and I'm just gonna smoke it out with a little bit of this deeper purple that's in the palette right here. Just a little bit more of an effect. Add a little bit of this. And this way, if you don't create a perfect line, then you can go ahead and blend it out and smooth it out. So you can use a thinner brush or you can use, this is like kind of um, like a thinner fluffy brush. Tap it off and then go ahead and just blend, 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 smooth it out. Just like that. That really made her eyes pop. And then um, we're going to move on to the brows. So I like, to, there's, you know, you can do lots of different things on the brows. You can do pencil. Pencil personally is not my favorite just because I feel like it's a little bit harder to work with and it can tend to look a little harsher if you're trying to go for a softer look. Um, you can also do a powder, like actually um, some of the shades in this eyeshadow palette would work. Some of the deeper brown shades, like probably this one, um, or if you have lighter hair, this one. Um, but in this case, we're gonna use um, Makeup Revolution. And this is kind of like a creamy gel product, like this. I'm just gonna take a tiny little bit on an angled brush like this. And then um, I'm gonna use this side, which has a comb on it already. And I'm just gonna brush through her eyeballs real fast like that. Just so they're all in shape. And I like to start, so can you guys see? Yeah, okay. um, I like to start kind of right here in the kind of middle front edge and just work my way through doing short strokes. And all I'm doing is just following the natural arch of her brows. She has really good brows ready. So I don't have to do much. I'm just kind of following what she already has. And I know earlier, Sandra, we were talking about when the eyeliner doesn't match. And I feel like it's kind of the same thing with the brows. Like, don't worry if things are not like super identical because what we like to say like before at the makeup room is like eyebrows are not like sisters, they're not twins. So it's okay if they're not like super perfect. 
everything is flexible. There's always makeup remover. There's always like more blending, you know. There's always stuff that you can do to fix it if it's not perfect. Let me get There's two tips, there's half the time. So I'm just gonna kind of fill it in a little bit more at the top right there. Do you um do you get your eyebrows? You just crease them at home or do you get them waxed or get them waxed? Are you sensitive to wax? No. I'm really, really sensitive to wax. Every time I do it after my brows are like, or right. you know, the skin is like so red and so irritated, and I get like these bumps. It's really mm -hmm. So I kind of just started to um just do them at home by myself. Mm -hmm. It doesn't look as good, but it looks better when I do it. And then in the in the front, I just like to kind of line it first, like that, line the bottom, and then like move it upwards. You're kind of like blending with the natural form of her brow. So I hope your stress is great. Just follow like the hairs that you have. Just like that. And then brush it through. Thank you. Um, so you can see the difference, you know, when you do your brows, it really kind of frames the eyes and makes everything pop a little bit more. You like that? Mm -hmm. And then we're just going to do a little bit and then start here and just look at this. Do you have any makeup questions from this? Mm -hmm. Do you have makeup questions? Yes, I know everything. I'm learning as we go to. I'm glad that you have done that for us to read them. Good. I'm just going to like come with other questions. Mm -hmm. And we're just going to do this here, so that works. I always find that you need more product when you do, um, when you start at the ends, and then when you go to the front, like you only need like tiny tap, you know? You always want to use less product in the front than you do at the ends. And then clean it up. It's nice if you can get a brush like this one. Do you remember how much this one was? It was really cheap. It was like five bucks or something, right? Um, so this one is cool. It's um it's from um Elf. And um, we also got this at Ulta. We got everything at Ulta, um, except for Sandra's stuff. Um, but this one has like the pillow at the end, the slanted side to do your brows. I always like to do a slanted brush on the brows. I know some people like working with a flat brush. Um, everything was round properties. But I just find that this is like the easiest. I always try and go through the easier stuff. Okay, we're going to do this one just like that, clean it out one more time. There you go. Looks good. And then um, we're going to move now um, to the bottom. Did we open this one? Oh, yeah. um, we forgot to open one of the eyeliners. We're just going to open this one real fast. But while she's doing that, um, we're done with the eyeshadow palette. So I know we used a lot of it. So just to show you guys again, it's Falcon 30. It's from Morphe and you can get it at the site. Thank you, you did that so fast. Mm -hmm. And then, so um, I like to use um, kind of like a, a lighter, brighter eyeliner in the inner um, eye. I know that a lot of people like to use a black or a darker color and that's okay too. It's whatever you feel comfortable with. But I feel like when you use kind of like a lighter color inside the rim of your eye, it's gonna brighten up your eyes and it's gonna make them look lighter and brighter and it wakes you up, you know? Mm -hmm. So um, this one is from NYX and they call this like a faux white because it has a little bit of a pink tone, which I picked out um, on purpose due to the pink aspect being kind of more brightening. So I'm doing that look up and this part might be a little bit harder because it's quite good and high right here. So I'm just going to do it really lightly, but you can see um, how that kind of brightens up inside. 
There we go. So it just very, um, very gently and naturally it kind of brightens up underneath the eye. And you can add more layers if you want it to be more of a brightening effect. But this is just kind of subtle, like with the whole vibe that we're going for. And then I'm going to now take um, this brush again, um, the one that we're using for the eyeliner. And um, we're going to go for a softer lip. So instead of lining underneath with a black, we're going to line it um, with a little bit of this with a little bit of this deep brown color right here. So we're going to take this, just dab a little bit in there, and maybe mix it with a little bit of this color. You can actually, I have mixed colors all the time in here, just to create a deeper effect. So if they don't have the exact color you want, you can feel free to make it on your own. So go ahead and look up for me again. I know it's best for you to make it out underneath there. Just put your going on the last one. And then we're gonna do the same thing, grab a little bit of this, a little bit of this, tap it off. And then look at me. And then right way this running and then the last one. And then we are going to be moving on to the mascara. Um, I'm going to have you curl your eyelashes first. Oh, that's really nice. Mm -hmm. You're so pretty. You have to have your man to be up tonight. Here, I say. Okay. And then we're going to take the mascara and we're going to put this on now. So go ahead and look here at my shoulder. So we're going to add some of this mascara onto our lashes. Um, I always like to kind of start at the V and then kind of do like two of these for you. I don't know if that's a word even, but kind of just switch your lashes and then you go back and forth a little bit so you're hitting other lashes and it's almost like a one at the same time. And, and this one, this lash schedule from Maybelline as well. I'm going to get a little bit more and then look here. I'm going to do the other side. Sandra already has nice lashes. So it's easy. And you can do as many coats as you want. Like. And then do you put mascara on the bottom too? I haven't, but you can. Do you want to do a little bit? Okay, so we're going to look up. I'm just going to do it really nice. Okay. Okay. So there's that. And we're actually done with the eyes now. Please go ahead and so far. And then we're going to move on now to the lips. So um, we're going to be using all NYX products on the lips. We're going for kind of like a rosy neutral. Um, so it's something she can wear during the day or like, you know, use it at night too. So kind of it's very universal. So we're going to start with lining the lips. Um, so, you know, I don't know if there's any rules for lining lips per se. It's kind of like start wherever you feel comfortable. I like to start right here at the at the inner um, the outer corners and then just move my way and follow the muscles in um, And I know like right now trending is like kind of a big thing to overline your lips a little bit. And you know, that's just something you can do if you feel comfortable doing. But Sandra has actually really, really nice camp lips. So we don't need to do it. Let me get a red. So this is going to help to create more definition to the lips. And then um, 
help it to last a little bit longer as well. So that's just a nice neutral color. And then we're gonna go ahead and add some of the lipstick now. And this is from the Lips Slate collection. This is a very nice, pretty neutral. And I was trying to get something with that hydration because my lips can be a little bit drier. Um, so choosing for something with a gloss is nice or something with hydration already in the lipstick. A lot of times the products will come out with vitamin E and different vitamins or antioxidants that attribute to moisturizing the lips. Makeup has become very like, you know, almost like skincare savvy throughout the years, I think. Mean. And then that's how it looks with just the lipstick and the liner. And then I always like to add a pop of gloss because it just gives it um, a really nice finish and a little bit more pop and a little bit more shine and a little bit more moisture. Yeah, it's very pretty on me. And um, this is a better gloss from NYX as well. And it just, um, I love the texture of this one because it's so smooth, it's so hydrating, and it actually tastes really good. Not that you're supposed to eat it, but like, you know, you can just smell it. And sometimes you get a little taste, you know, you can't help. But um, it smells really good. And this one, I, I opted for kind of like a more uh, soft pink, almost pastel because I like these kind of shades because I feel like they brighten up um, just your whole skin tone. So, and then they go, um, they go with a lot of different lipsticks and liners. And um, this color doesn't have too much pigment, but it's also not sheer. Um, it kind of has a pressure consistency and um, pigmentation. So you can go ahead and add that. And you know, if you're doing just like a more natural look, you can just do lip gloss and liner or just lip gloss. Totally up to you. And a little trick I like to do, so um, I stick it behind the mouth and kind of pull it out. This is so the lipstick doesn't get on your teeth. Oh. Yeah, it's a little trick. I had to teach it to my mom because she would always have lipstick on her, on her teeth. Sorry, mom, you're probably gonna watch this later and see that, but it's okay, I taught you that trick. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then final thing, we're going to lock her in. This is also for Makeup Revolution. It's a hydra um, hydrating makeup fixing spray. So I'm gonna shake it like this and then go ahead and close. And then I'm just gonna kind of spray it like a, like a pull like that and see across and this way um when you use a setting spray it helps your makeup doesn't move throughout the day it locks it in real nicely and um it's more long wear so and it's hydrating so it's kind of like a win-win so this is our final look maybe you can get a little bit closer so you can see sandra looks beautiful but she did when we started as well but this is just like a you know nice natural look. Um, when you do it at home, you can take away some of the eyeshadow and maybe just do like one or two shades if you want it to be quicker or just add a gloss. But this is, I would say, more of a date night look. You kind of turn it from like a natural look to a little bit more date night. But I feel like you can still wear this to where you can wear it out, you know, whatever you feel comfortable doing. I don't feel like there are any rules in makeup. I feel like you can just wear whatever you want. Like for example, myself, I'm 36, but I still wear glitter. I still do smoky eyes. I wear whatever colors I want. And I just like it to be fun. Um, so do whatever you want. There's no rules. Um, just as long as you're blending and it looks good and you feel good in it. Um, it so how do you feel? Yeah, you look amazing. Nice. Thank you. And um, I believe they're gonna be broadcasting this to Facebook or something. So um if you have any questions, just feel free to write in the comments and then we'll get back to you as soon as we can. I hope you guys have an awesome day. Thank you for joining us. Bye. Bye. <laughs>